take a look at our settings for our uh, feed rate control. Uh, right now we're in an automation machine, so we're going to go into our automation menus and look in our basic tab. And here we can select our strategy. So I've got four options there, best grain quality, performance, maximum throughput, and fixed throughput. Typically I'm running in performance. Uh, this is going to kind of maximize everything for me. If I were doing seed beans, food grade corn, I may run in best grain quality. So best grain quality may make some sacrifices to overall performance uh, to maximize the, the grain damage uh, reduction in the sample as well as the uh, MOG reduction in the sample. Maximum throughput, typically don't use that one very much. It's not going to look at your sieve and rotor losses as close. Uh, typically, but the only time I would recommend doing that would be if you had a weather event that was coming in and you're just trying to get it out of the field as quick as possible. Not maybe worried about a bushel or two going out the back if you can get it out before the weather comes through. Fixed throughput, this will allow us to set our feed rate target at a certain bushels per hour and it's going to maintain that bushels per hour for us. So uh, I use this if I'm trying to keep up with trucks, a dryer or something like that, or it also works well in really hilly conditions uh, to use that instead of performance. It'll keep the machine from overrunning itself going down hills and keep a pretty uniform uh, flow rate going through the field. We can set our max ground speed in here. This is the max speed that it will go up to with feed rate control and we can set our max engine load in here. So with these two maxes, I typically will set my max ground speed about a mile an hour faster than I normally run, and I'll typically set my max engine load right around 100%, uh, maybe 105. You will still see it go above that, but that is going to be the target that it's shooting for. So with the feed rate control, uh, before I run it, once I hook a head to it, I want to do a no load calibration. So for my no load calibration, I'm going to engage the separator, engage the feeder, and with the machine sitting still, the header raised all the way up. I'm going to take it to full throttle and I'm going to let it sit there and run it full throttle for about 20 seconds. This is going to look at the amount of horsepower that it takes to run the separator the feeder and the header with no load going through the machine. So once I've calculated that, I, uh, I know my total engine horsepower, I know my no load power, I can look at my hydro settings as I'm going through the field to tell how much power it's taking to propel the machine and whatever is left over I can use for processing crop. Once I've done my no load calibration, when I get in the field, start harvesting at or close to my normal operating speed, I'm going to press and hold the feed rate button until it beeps. At that point I get the hourglass on the display. Go through its calculations. I've got my max set at four miles per hour right now. Once it's done doing its calculations, uh, the hourglass will go away and I get the feed rate icon. At that point with the newer software, I don't need to do anything with the hydro handle to take my hand off of it, and it's going to run up to that maximum speed. It will show me in the top right hand corner what my limiting factor icon are, is. So right now I can press that, my target max speed is what's going to limit my machine from going any faster. So I can change that if I want to go faster. Now if I want to disengage my feed rate control, bump the handle in either direction and it will go back to manual for me. To re-engage, I simply tap the feed rate button, it will re-engage my feed rate. Now when I'm unloading on the go, I will get a pause icon up here and it will pause feed rate control for me. It won't, won't allow the machine to go faster. Uh, it will reduce the ground speed if I get up close to my max engine power. Now I also can press my shift button on the front and my header up button. That will bump up that target setting so a feed rate is acting a little sluggish. I will often do that to help get it back to where it's acting like I want it to. 